Hi there and welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at the apply map function and apply map function is very helpful in mapping the information from a different table and you can think of like a lookup function or a VLOOKUP function that you use in the Excel. So let's see in the back end about the data and see how we can implement it. So over here we have the two tables. We have the mapping table. If you see this is a keyword mapping keyword which is previous to the load as compared to the normal load table where you usually have the name of the table. So here you have the name of the table but you have mapping also which indicates that this table contains the codes or the mapping information and if you see you have the CC code which is nothing but the country code. So you have country code details over here that what what is SW means which is Sweden, what is DK, Denmark and NO Norway and if we need to map this information over here we will going to use the apply map function so the way apply map function works as you can see we are we are having a different table which is salesperson and over here after loading everything load star indicates that you have load you want to load all the columns and then you want to use the apply map function where map one is basically the name of the table it's the first parameter name of the mapping table which is this and then the cc code the table field value which needs to be mapped so cc code needs to be mapped with this and by default apply map function map the first column of the mapping table so you need to make sure that first column should contain the code information or the mapping information and the second table should contain the information which you need in this particular table. So what it will going to do it based on this CC code it will going to search CC code here which is the first column and return the country column to you. So after that if there are values for example you have SF over here if SF is not present or any other value is not present then it will say rest of the world. And we have given the name as country and then you know other information now after this if you don't need c code which is country code then you can drop it by using the drop field name drop field cc code and save it and load it click close come to analysis and here in the table you can evaluate the results so here you have the country now you see that you don't have CC but you have the country information and you have the salesperson information. So this particular data is now part of this table and by default this table is deleted. So that's also one of the uh, nice way that after using the information you either you have to manually delete it but mapping keyword or the mapping table make sure that it is deleting the table once it is used in using the apply map function or the script is ending then this table will no longer be accessible. So this is an efficient way by which you can map the information. Also you have lookup function which I have uh, covered in one of my previous videos and that function basically helps you look up the information. Also it does not remove the table. So if you want that after mapping you want to keep the table information or you want to keep the table within the data model then you will going to use the lookup. If you don't need the table and you want to you uh, want to remove it or you don't want then you will be going to use it mapping. Also in mapping you only need to have two columns if there are other columns then it will be ignored. So that's about how you can utilize the apply map function very very straightforward as you can see from this parameter where you just need to provide three parameters and you have a very fast lookup perform over here. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.